grid 12 history. Unit 1. Development of capitalism and nationalism from 1815 up to 1914. Lesson 1. Development of capitalism. In this topic, I am going to present about the meaning of capitalism, the natures of capitalism, the main features of capitalism, where and when was started capitalism? Decades of capitalism. What mean by capitalism? Capitalism is derived from the root word capital to mean owner's equity or privately owned resource. It refers to financial or material resources that served for the productions of goods and service are owned and managed privately. Capitalism means of production and whole economic activity such as land, labor, capital are owned and managed by private owners. The form of capitalism Early capitalism and industrial capitalism. I divided the capitalism into two based on the amount of productions and time beings and specializations, especially focused on technological boom. Let me explain about early capitalism. It began to emerge in Western Europeans in 11 centuries. How did grow capitalist systems from very beginning? Capitalist systems grow in the warm of decay feudalism. In early 11 centuries, capitalist systems has become dominant economic system in the Western world since breakup of Feudalism. Where or when was consolidated capitalism? Capitalist systems consolidated in North Western Europe or Great Britain and Netherlands from 16th centuries to 17th centuries. Capitalism consolidated due to establishment of mercantilism and reformations. Mercantilisms and reformations were one of the factors that consolidating earliest capitalism in 16th centuries up to 17th century. What does mean mercantilism? Mercantilism, as I've said that, it is one factor that consolidating earliest capitalism in 16th centuries uh, it means that distributions of goods that are brought at a certain prices and sold at a higher prices in order to generate profits. Especially the mercantile economic systems used by the Britons because Britons needed to accumulations of national capitals by the expense of other nations. However, she used more export than import. These systems began to decline in 18th centuries. Why? Why mercantilism did began to uh, decline in 18th centuries? Because emergence of challenge economic theories on mercantilist doctrines, uh, especially one of uh, the, uh, the, 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 the demands who known as Adam Smith. His book entitled An Inquiries into the Natures and the Case of the Wealthies of the Nations. This book published in 1776. In this book, he explains that and again, he opposed mercantile economic 
systems. He stated in this book, state could only increase its wealthy at the expense of another's estates. Wealthy, well, the amount of worldly wealth remain constant. He highly opposed mercantile economies because uh, certain nations gained economic advantage by the expense of the others, highly opposed. And uh, in his book, he explains that leaving economic decisions into free play of self-regulatory market force and support the idea of laser fair economics. The factor that helped to the emergence of industrial capitalism in the middle 18th centuries was industrial revolutions. After oppositions appraised, agonist mercantile economy consequently led to the outbreak of industrial revolution which paved the way to the outbreak of industrial capitalism. New capitalist systems was emerged in middle of 18th century, especially in England. This economic system, this industrial capitalism is differentiated from that of earless capitalism in terms of the, 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 the numbers of the productions. Now the machines invented um, the product, the produced uh, production produced by the machines, which consequently leads the amount of the production, new economic system or modern uh, capitalism systems emerged, which was known as industrial capitalism. So, generally, the case of the emergence of capitalism were trade in the 11th centuries. One of the factors that the emergence of earless capitalism from very beginnings was the expand of trade in the Europeans in the 11th century. So, in 16th and 17th centuries, consolidations of capitalism through transatlantic slave trades because the Britons accumulated the capitals through transatlantic slave trade and plantation agriculture in the South American in 16th and 17th centuries. So, one of the factors, another factor, that consolidations of capitalism in 16th and 17th century is transatlantic slave trades. Reformation, another factor in 16th centuries. The case factors were the, the consolidating of the capitalism. Especially, reformation supported the, that hard work and accumulations of the capitals. So, in 18th century, uh, industrial capitalism's uh, revolution was outprox, which consequently lead to new systems of capitalism systems happened in the Europeans in the 18th century. Generally, trade, accumulation of capital through transatlantic slaves, reformation, industrial revolutions was the factor that consolidated of the capitalism or case factor in general. What are the major characteristic features of capitalism? Capitalism had the following main characteristic features, such as private ownership of means of production, work for a profit, market price determined by demand and supply. In addition, another characteristic feature of capitalism is the government impose fewer restrictions or the government interference less, which called laser fair. Accumulated capital to enlarge productivity cap capacities. Finally, uh, the capitalism systems also they include two social groups, especially br uh, bourgeois and proletariats. Bourgeois is factory owners and proletariats, those who are known as wage workers or employers in the factories. This all about the historical development of capitalist systems in this world and the future of capitalist economic system. 
goodbye students see you next lessons goodbye